Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Tuesday, April 25th, 2017. The tarot card for today is Death, and this one comes to us from artist Michael Calandra for 78 Tarot Astral Tarot in Space. And yes, I'm still running this through May. I'm going to be doing mine through May the 3rd for these cards, and their Kickstarter is running through May the 4th. So I hope you're enjoying them because this is really, to me, their best deck yet. And anyone who's followed me for a while knows that while many people fear this card, I actually have grown to love it over the years. Because sometimes things just need to end. And that's given me chills on the back of my neck as I say this, all right? It, this can be absolutely anything. But, you know, sometimes doors need to close in order for new doors to open. Life is a constant transition. So, f to fear this card is just totally wrong. And I personally think the timing is perfect. Tomorrow we have a new moon in Taurus. So, you know, think about that. If you allow things that don't need a place in your life to die away, you're making room for the new things for the intentions that you can set at tomorrow's new moon. So I think that this is a very positive energy that's here to help you handle these things. And that could in part, you know, be through Pluto retrograde. You know, it's been for retrograde for five days now, you know, helping you decide what needs to end in your life. And this process has just begun and it takes place every year, pretty much at the same time, you know, from April, till sometime in September, you know, for five months. So I would expect to see many endings, eliminations, doors closing, things of that nature throughout the coming months. But I'm glad to see this here right now. Because even for me, I have like a, a target date, things I'm trying to work on and do. And I'm like, okay. And I this particular week, this particular day, I have some things in mind. And I'm like, boy, if I could do that, it's actually a really positive thing. It brings an end to a whole cycle that's made me crazy. So, you know, think about it from that perspective. If you have something that's really been dogging you, that you've been trying to, you know, work on and say, oh, I just got to get over that hump. I just have to make this happen. This is good. This is a situation that you can bring an end to. And it's like the dawn of a new day. It really is, you know, a phenomenal thing when you understand the energies that surround you and, you know, the, even the energy of the card itself and how you can transition things in your life from one place to another and begin a new chapter in a certain area. So this, to me, is a really good thing. And I think as you start working on it, you're going to see more and more when we get into next month and continue on through September, how many things are transitioning and evolving in your life in a very good way. And I think ultimately you won't have any problem dealing with these things because they're freeing you up to do other things, which are ultimately extremely important to you. There have recently been a number of current videos added to Patreon for you to listen to to help you through this time frame, okay? It would be the Sun in Taurus, Pluto retrograde, Mars in Gemini, and of course tomorrow's new moon as well to help round out the month. So I would say if you have any questions about what's going on with this death card, listen to those videos. They will help you understand that endings often bring beautiful new beginnings. So I want to thank you all very much for listening. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.